Hi, I'm Jake, and this is my band, the Chardon Polka Band. You're going to hear us play a lot of music on this show. There's Mike, Mitch, Bob, and the guy with the mustache is Brian. Since I was 16 years old, polka music has been my job. And at that job, I get to see and do some pretty crazy and interesting stuff. And I want to share those experiences and the music I love so much with all of you. This is the world according to Polka. The concept of gathering together at a local watering hole or alehouse dates back centuries. Call it a bar, a beer joint, or a tavern, we call it a necessity, and today we'd like to show you why. We're going to take in some polka music with our neighbors today at one of my very favorite venues in Youngstown, Ohio. It's a place that really knows how to bring a community together, and it's called the West Side Bowl. The West Side Bowl is not just a bar. It's a concert venue and bowling alley. We're going to kick things off with a fitting song that dates back to the 1800s, to the taverns and barrel houses, a song called There Is a Tavern in the Town. If there's a tavern in the town, then you might find the Chardon Polka Band there playing some of your very favorite polka songs. And who is that handsome guy playing the accordion today? No, not that handsome guy. The other one. That is heartthrob Bob Buzikan. I'm Jake Cowie, and you're watching The World According to Polka. Today, that world includes a very unique music venue right here in Youngstown, Ohio. Though Nate and Jamie Offerdahl knew they wanted to run a music venue in Youngstown, Ohio, they didn't immediately have pizza or bowling in mind. Their passion centered around finding a space within the Youngstown city limits where they could host bands from across the country. So, when the opportunity to purchase a local bowling alley arose, they decided on the concept of a combination bowling alley, concert hall, and bar. And so began the West Side Bowl, a place where people of all ages can gather for food, beer, and bands. Jamie and Nate made their passion a reality by creating a place where art can thrive and where they curate musical performances from all genres for their community. Everybody that walks in here is like, holy cow, I can't believe what they've done to the You're place. Okay. Okay. And okay. having the Chardon Polka Band just nice. brings so many people here. All right. And you can see it on a Sunday in the middle of uh, February that it's packed. And that's a great thing for the economy. It's a great thing for, you know, Youngstown. And we can't uh, tell them how much we appreciate them coming here to play. 
And when you get out here in the wild, at a gathering place like the West Side Bowl, you never know what you might find or who you might run into. In fact, standing here next to me is Polka legend, radio personality, and head of Peppermint Recording Studio, Mr. Gary Ramey. Good to see you, buddy. Hi, Jake. All right, now, Gary, can you lend us some of those beautiful radio baritones? I'll try. This is Gary Ramey of radio station WRQX AM 600 and the Peppermint Polka Party. And here we are at the West Side Bowl for a great Sunday afternoon. Thank you, Gary. I love it. Oh my goodness. Folks, you gotta get out there. You gotta get off your cell phones and get out here in the real world because you never know who you might run into. Gary, can we use that radio voice one more time to introduce our next song? Ladies and gentlemen, the Chardon Polka Band playing that classic all-time favorite, Grab Your Balls, We're Going Bowling. That may have been the perfect song for today's program. Grab Your Balls, We're Going Bowling was written by Cleveland's own rocking Ray Miller. And I think he was on to something. Bowling and polka just go together. In a world full of uncertainties, it's nice to have a few things we can count on, like friends, family, bowling, and polka music. We're here at the West Side Bowl today in Youngstown, Ohio where the marquee outside explains what's going on. Bowling, music, pizza, and booze. Founded in 1797 and traditionally known as a steel town, Youngstown, Ohio is part of the Rust Belt. And as the steel industry rose in the late 1800s, it attracted many immigrants to the Mahoning Valley community. Hard-working men and women from Youngstown have played an essential role in the steel industry over the years. During World War II, the Mahoning Valley accounted for 10% of national steel production. 
some 10 million tons of steel per year. So the Mahoning Valley community and Youngstown, Ohio can easily be associated with folks who are hard workers. And these folks also like to party and have a good time. Now, Youngstown, Ohio is also home to a population with a large Slovak and Polish background. That means polka music. I think it's wonderful that everybody is getting together for so many diverse bands. I came here for the polka music. I was looking at the other posters for the other kinds of music that they're going to have here, and it's such a wide array. You can always find something that you're going to like. And speaking of punks at the bar, let's go back and meet some from the 1700s. You know, back in that era, the establishment of a local watering hole would have been just as important as the establishment of a fire station or sanitation department in today's communities. Now, back in that time period, our founding fathers would have met over pints of ale. And at those meetings, they would have had important discussions about ethics and politics. And without these meetings, you might never have had the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, or the ever important 21st Amendment. And let's jump forward in American history and take a look at another character that embodies the true freedom of the American spirit. I'm talking about the American cowboy of the 1800s. And if I'm gonna talk about cowboys, I'm gonna need some help from a real tuba troubadour, my dear friend, Mr. Brian Brazier. Howdy. Howdy yourself, Brian. Brian lives next door and uh, well, today he fancies himself a bit of a cowboy. Yes, I do, Jake. And what can you tell us about cowboys, Brian? Well, we drink sarsaparilla, we ride horses, and we wrangle cows. I like it. And Brian, do cowboys like music? Oh, you know it. Do they like saloons? Oh, you know it. Can you pick us out a cowboy song? I only got one in mind, and that's called Red River Valley. For they say that you take in all the sunshine that is bright in our path way away. So I'll be sitting by my side if you love me. And I'd hate to be. You 
Westside Bowl is just a gem of the Youngstown community and we're lucky to have it. From two years old to 85, 90 year old people coming together to listen to what I call an alternative polka band, but other people would call just a great polka band. They play the classics, they play everything that you want to hear and I've seen them for years, followed them around and they're fantastic. Northeast Ohio is lucky to have them. Today on the show, we're exploring the concept of the local gathering place. Hey, Jake, I think I found it. That's great, Brian. <laughs> and what place better to gather at than your local bowling alley? You see, bowling dates back to ancient Egypt. And you know what? In a world dominated by cell phones and computer screens, it's awesome that this ancient activity can still thrive, can still bring people together with entertainment and excitement. You see, people need activities in their lives, activities to bring them together, activities like bowling. This isn't the right one. Maybe you've never been in a bowling establishment before. Or perhaps you have, and it wasn't this kind of place. You'll always find a healthful, wholesome, family environment. Maybe you're afraid to try to learn to bowl. It's really quite simple. Actually, every person has the makings of a good bowler. Whether you enjoy the sport of bowling, playing cards, playing croquet, or even doing some crochet. You should get out there and do it at a local hangout like this place, the West Side Bowl. And if you're out and about at local hangouts, the Chardon Polka Band would love to provide your soundtrack. This next song was originally written and performed by a group from Chicago called the Polkaholics. They wrote the tune as a tribute to one of their very favorite local beers, and their whole community. Lines like, with friends we can trust, no one's wealthier than us, make this such a charming song and one of my very favorites to sing and perform. And you know what? I think it's a perfect song for today's episode about community and gathering places. Yeah. 
It's time to take a break from all this money making. Money, money, money. You work hard to bring home the bacon. Ooh, bacon. But when the day dies and you want to be with friends, I live an old style, old style, baby. Ooh, I live an old style, old style is here. My friends are old style, old style, baby. Have another old style, all my friends are here. Communities need places to gather, places to celebrate art and entertainment. Here in Youngstown, Ohio, this is that place, the West Side Bowl. You know, this place is more than just a bowling alley. It's more than a bar. It is a love letter to music, to art, in the entire Mahoning Valley community. Yeah, we need places like this to gather because Far too often, we gather on something like this. And this, this is no substitute for the real thing. You got to get out there, folks, because when you're out here in the wild, there's no telling what you might see and who you might run into. Check this out. Over here, the pinball wizard. This is Michael Weber from Akron, Ohio, one of the greatest guitar players you'll ever meet. Jake Cowie from the Shara Polka Band. That's what right. What are you doing here? I'm, well, we're filming a show, Mike. Oh, well, that, that's cool. I'm just here yeah. hanging out with my guitar I got, you know? Of course you are. Michael Weber here won MTV's Amazingness, has played with artists like the Counting Crows and Niels Lofgren, and most importantly, he's my close personal friend. I played with the Shark Polka Band. You forgot to mention that. That's right. One of the best bands there is. <laughs> the whole world. <laughs> Galaxy universe. I like where you're going with this. Michael Weber, would you like to join me and Brian Brazier for the closing song of today's program? Well, luckily, I just happened to have a guitar on me while I was playing pinball over here. And uh, I guess, you know, yeah, I s certainly I'll play with you. What, what key is the song in? What key is the song in? Michael, it's in one of the good ones. One of the good ones. Show me the way to go home I'm tired and I want to go to bed I had a little drink about an hour ago And it went right to my head Wherever I may roam Land or sea or bone You always hear me singing a song Show me 
Weber, Gary at the bar, from the Chardon Polka Band to all of you. Home. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from Youngstown, Ohio, this is the world according to polka. Anybody can master the fundamentals of the game and with consistent practice become competent at it. How can you know for sure? Every size, age, kind, breed and class from all walks of life. Every type imaginable. 20 million men, women and children in America are regular bowlers. 